Hello, welcome to the Musical Grant Program for 2015. My name is Nicole Lungerhausen and I'm the Grant Coordinator for the MGP. Uh, today's webinar uh, speaks specifically about work samples. Okay, so, uh, and one side note here, I strongly recommend that um, as you watch this, uh, before looking over this webinar, um, to download the guidelines and the application forms from the SFFCM website. So you can kind of refer to those documents as we uh, go through this section. There is a whole section in the guidelines towards the end of the guidelines that gives you um, details about work samples and what we're expecting. Um, I do elaborate um, here on that, but that, that is a, a good thing to, to look at and review as you're, as you're following along. So the general requirements for our work samples. Um, is that we ask you to include one CD, one CD only. Um, in cases where I know that there are sometimes projects that involve like have a visual element or that might be highly theatrical um, as well as musical, that if you, you feel that a DVD is more relevant um, to showing the full extent and scope of your work, your past work, um, then you can submit a DVD. Um, in that case, though, I strongly recommend that you get in touch with me prior to submitting your DVD, just so we can talk it over and I can make sure that that's really the, the absolute best thing that you should be submitting. And um, I'll give you uh, information about how to reach me at the end of this webinar. We ask that you submit two contrasting works or excerpts from works. These can be either, um, you can uh, submit either full length works or you can submit just excerpts. Either one is fine. Each of these works should be no longer than four minutes in length each so that the total length of your CD or your DVD work sample is eight minutes in total. And lastly, we prefer that one sample that you submit be from a live performance so that we can get a sense of um, what you sound like outside of, you know, the recording studio. Now, those are the general requirements um, that we're looking for. Now, we have some requirements that are specific to types of projects that um, you might be submitting for. So in case of projects involving both a performer and a composer where, you know, a composer is being commissioned by uh, an ensemble to um, produce a, wor a new work, um, we have the following requirements. We ask that you include two contrasting samples for each partner. So two samples for the composer and two samples from the performer for a total of four tracks. And again, each track can be four minutes each. So you could be submitting on a single CD up to 16 minutes total of work sample material. Um, for uh, the composer, you have the option of submitting a score or a lead sheet. And this is, this, just to be clear, this is totally optional and it's only if notation is a part of your practice. If it isn't, then, then please don't worry about having to submit a score or a lead sheet. And this document, as you'll see on the application, it must be mailed um, as a, uh, e sorry, emailed as a PDF to the address on the application by the deadline, or you can send us a hard copy along with your application. So um, for festival presenters, we ask that for your work sample, you could compile a recording from your previous festival year, um, or you can compile a recording from the ensemble or ensembles that you're looking to present on uh, the festival you're hoping that MGP will support. And the total for your work sample is eight minutes max um, for this compiled recording. For presenters of a series, we're asking that you compile a single CD 
with selections for um, the group you intend to present. And we ask that you keep this to eight minutes maximum for the, for the group or the ensemble that you, you want to present. And uh, please don't submit commercial CDs. So please, in the past we've had people submit like, you know, two or three different commercial CDs of an ensemble that they want to submit and then ask us to look at various tracks. Um, we request that you, you know, transpose those tracks that you want us to listen to to a single CD and just send a single CD as opposed to a bunch of, you know, single commercial ones. Um, just to share some tips for choosing work samples based on my experience of running this program since um, it started in 2008. Um, I've listened to a lot of work samples listen to a lot of reviewers, uh, our panel review feedback about various work samples, and I just wanted to share some um, uh, tips that can make your work sample stand out, you know, above the rest. Quality of sound is absolutely key. Um, if the sound is muddy, muffled, and so on, it will just make it very difficult to listen to and more than likely have a very negative impact on how reviewers feel about not just your application but about the qual your artistic merit as a, a performer or a composer or a presenter. Variety is really important. I mean, there's a reason why we ask you to choose contrasting selections. You know, it really gives the reviewers a sense of your range as a performer uh, or as a, um, as a presenting organization or your, your capacity as a, what your artistic range is as a composer. So it's just really important to choose c contrasting selections. You know, I don't recommend sending you two very, like, slow and, um, slow kind of piece, building kind of pieces or two extremely like quick and fast and light and active pieces. You know, it's nice to be able to see the, um, the different sides of you as an artist or, or as a presenting organization. Definitely play to your strengths. Um, one of my, when I was starting out in the fundraising field, one of my, my bosses always referred to um, when she was telling clients how to put together their work samples, she would always say, you know, cue it to the high kick section. And so I, I think that's really apropos, you know, regardless of what performing field you're in, but really cue to the section that shows you off the best. Um, either you, you off the best um, as an ensemble, how you're playing really well together in a particular section that may be complicated, or as a composer that you know really shows off your you know your ability to do complex work. Um, and then lastly, definitely choose work samples that are relevant to the project. Um, so you know. Think about, you know, if you are, um, you know, if you're a composer and you're thinking about your two work samples to submit and you're writing a piece for a string quartet, but you send us, you know, um, pieces that you wrote for a jazz combo, that doesn't really give us an idea, the reviewers an idea of, like, how can you write for a string quartet? So think about you know, how you can make sure that you're letting us know that you have the ability to um, put together the creative work that you're asking the MGP to support. Okay, so that um, is uh, brings us to the end of this webinar on work samples. If you have further questions about work samples or other parts of the MGP application, we have a lot of resources, number of resources for you to access. Um, one is our FAQ on our website. It um, has a great deal of information about um, putting together work samples as well as information about other eligibility requirements such as geographic restrictions, um, how to deal with the fact if, uh, that your project has multiple partners, 
Um, I also recommend that you check out the other webinars that we've put together for the 2015 round. Those also have a good deal of information in them about budgeting, about putting together your narrative in the best way. Um, just a reminder, if you are a first-time applicant, you do need to get in touch with an SFFCM staff member prior to submitting your application. This is absolutely mandatory. And you do so by visiting the link listed here and clicking on it to schedule a phone appointment. This gives um, our staff a chance to hear, to make sure that your, your project and you are eligible for our program, that your project meets, you know, um, the, uh, the requirements that we're looking to fulfill, it help, lets you ask any kind of questions of us as to, you know, how best to, to talk about your project. Um, if you are a returning applicant, you can also book an appointment with a staff member, and we actually highly recommend that you do so, so that you, so that you also have the opportunity to talk with someone who's knowledgeable about the NGP, about your project um, in depth. Or you can email me directly at mgp at sffcm.org. All right, I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope it was helpful. And I wish you best of luck in your application this year.